In this video, we're going to start to use LiveOM 3D. So I just started here a new project. So I want to go back here to the main interface. Now, in the previous lesson, we saw how we can download it and install it. It's really easy. We can do it in the Microsoft Store if we're using Windows, or we can use Mac and other options. Now, remember, there are also similar applications like uh, Sweetom 3D. And you can find the, the video course in the channel as well. Or you can use like SketchUp, uh, Revit, other like a little bit more professional application. But this is really easy to use. We can see from the interface and uh, anyone can use it. And we have a lot of samples here we can start with. So we either start with a new blank document up here. Or we can use some samples here of rooms or entire apartments and houses etc etc depending on uh, the um, well your, your objective and here we have others that are locked so remember there is always a free version and a premium version so if you want to move forward you probably need to buy then the, the pro version so I'm gonna start here and also this is another menu you can expand on the left so we can go in the recent files, we can go new blank and start with different scale. So I, I can start, for example, 1 to 100, and click here. So And it's going to give you these advices, these uh, pop-up boxes where it says that you need to um, have like the, the, the pro features for this and that. So I'm just going to continue here, or you can go to the store directly up here, you have a little button up here to get to the store. So you can see this is a blank space, there's nothing here, so we can start design, but I'm not gonna do it in this lesson, this is just to focus on the interface. So on the left side, we have panels that can get us objects and props that we can add to our scene. So we have objects right here, object library, and then we have material library in here, and then the third one is the actual project. So in this project, we don't have anything but a terrain, which is not visible here because this is the 2D view, it's a blank space. Now to switch the views, we can go on the right, top right corner here, and we can close and open the different panels. So I can close the libraries and open the libraries, for example, and the information. Information are right here on the left, on the right side, and these are like properties basically of what we are visualizing into the, the project. And this is to split the screen in so can, you can visualize both like 2D and 3D. And then you have only 3D. So you can see there is nothing here but this uh, terrain. And you can select here an object. You can use this to turn it on and off, lock, or you can delete. And now we don't have anything here except like the background with the clouds. And here we have also different panels. So this is to, you can see, we, we can access the properties of walls and other stuff. And this is for materials, to drawing, cameras, to create renders, lining, and the building, the overall building, when you have like more stories, more layers. And up here, we have some navigation tools. So let me use a template so we can see something here. Otherwise, it's kind of too empty and sad. So I'm going to go again to the hamburger. And I'm going to go down here. So you can also import, by the way. Import, export files. You can print when you're finished. So I'm just going to close this. And I don't want to save it. And we are back in the home page. Now also we have here another um, expandable menu where you can open, save this as a template, rename, delete a specific uh, project. And so we have sample looms, sample houses, additional houses, apartments, and cottages. I'm going to start with the one you saw at the beginning or similar like these default houses. I want to start with this. So even though we look at this as, as a 3D object, while these are like more open, you can see these are like a lot of presets, standard combination that you can start with. You can start with this and modify it and make it your own, or you can start 
from zero, but in this uh, case, we're gonna just take this one here. So double click or just right click and open. And again, uh, notes about the free version that uh, can create multiple projects, but we can only have access to the most recent one uh, until you buy the standard or pro feature. So uh, again, anytime you can go in the store and proceed with this. Otherwise, we're just gonna you know, make some introduction of this. So we can select here the various pieces by left clicking, we can select. Right clicking, we can access to this pop-up menu and we can cut and copy, we can duplicate other stuff. And um, let, let's switch here into both like the 2D and 3D view like this. So we can scroll the scroll wheel here to get closer. Then we have also these navigation tools at the bottom to to change the the view these are i think pretty helpful if you have like a tablet or a smartphone so i can move i can move aside and you can change type of navigation up here so you have like walking navigation so you click and drag the left mouse and you kind of go forward and you can enter the apartment somehow and then you have orbit so this is going to this is another way you can click and drag and it's going to orbit around and then you have the uh, view so you can view around you can move your site and then you can walk and also this is going to detect collision meaning that if i start walking like this and i encounter like a door or a, an obstacle it's going to stop so if you have stairs it's going to go up etc etc you can you can turn this on and off and also we can turn the, the sunlight here on and off and you can see also the shadows appearing and disappearing. And here instead we have other types of commands. So this is the, um, the 2D view. When you scroll, the scroll wheel is going to move up and down. But also down here you have the zoom and you can also visualize different stories and also, you can pan here, up here, you have other navigation tools. You can pan, you can zoom also here in an area of your project, and then you can put measurements. You can build other elements. You can use the standard selection, etc., etc. So, uh, really easy to move around. Now, if you press the space bar, it's going to pan as well. And here, if you press the space bar, is going to use the default which is like the the site and that's it so uh, i think it's um good enough for this first uh, lesson a first site to this uh, interesting software so i'm gonna stop here and subscribe if you want to stay updated join the channel if you want to support us in creating more videos like this you can check other video courses as i said similar like sketchup or you can check Sweetom 3D, or if you want something more professional, like Revit and similar ones, uh, AutoCAD uh, for the 2D, and uh, many others for the 3D, 3 motion, it looks like 3 motion, the interface. And so we're gonna stop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.